All right, so here we have our basic layout of what Wii Video is all about. I've already dragged the video down here to my timeline, and you can see that as I scrub my bar across, the time code's going to change. If you can uh, click here if you want to make your video smaller or larger, the preview window. You can also drag this area up or down if you want to be able to access more of your timeline field view. What I want to show in this tutorial is all about editing our actual video together. And let's say I have video one, video two. You can see that once it's been used, we have a green check. I'm going to drag it down, and I'm going to put it right next to it. And it goes up. And you can already see the duration timeline. Five. And we have a couple ways that we could trim it. You could play this right through. If I want to trim back a little bit area, I can just scrub this backwards. And the clip goes with it. So that's Alright, so we had that. It's been taken back a little bit in our timeline. There we have our editing. Uh, we have full screen mode. You can also split the clip if you want to be able to see it. We could make two smaller segments, so wherever my playhead was, I could drag that. Why we video is best? I mean, uh, it's going to be... So your main editing is going to be shrinking and resizing the clip. Or you could split a clip and move the chunks around like that. And if you need to get rid of something, just hit the X or you can hit delete on your keyboard. Right now I have my main video track. This is where it combines your audio and your video. Um, if you hit the little triangle arrow down, you can get a little bit more advanced features such as setting the volume. If you want to have a track solo featured or muted, or locked so it won't be moved around, you can also select those options. If you click on the little rectangle next to it, you can change the color that will be associated with it. Perhaps you want to color code certain clips in a scene that you could set up. You can do that by so. But I want to show you now how you can do a picture-in-picture picture of another video. So I'm going to just make a new track. And you can see here you're only limited to adding a graphic and an audio. So I'm going to make this one call, call it a name, I'll call it Picture-in-Picture. Picture. And see if we can get it that same color. Oh, I don't know, maybe it's something like that. And we hit OK. So now I know that these clips are going to be associated with each other. I can also hit the drop down there to make sure that's right. And what I want to do for mine is I want to use this open space that I have in my clip, and I'm going to insert a native video clip in there. You can also do this with a still image, but for the sake my clip I'm going to do a video with an but I can't take it any further it automatically goes back and just like with other ones you could scrub the size down notice now that the split option is not available but there are a few other things we can do if you once your thing turns to a little dot here this is what's going to make it fade out to black you can drag it down if you want to add additional dots so let's see if I scrub this across. You can see now that my little picture fades out very fast. If I have my little keyframe tool, and it looks like that, I'm just going to click a few more times on that line. And I can move them up. I can sort them out. This would give me a little bit more of a slow down. Let's see if we play from the beginning. How's it? Help! Hey there! Help! Welcome to the flip cam store. Now with you, we're going to show you how it slowly we... fades out. It's really just going to be used for solo pictures. So you see, I just clicked on the graphic frame, and now it gives me these dots where I can resize the picture. Um, I guess we can do a slightly rotating it if you want to do it. I think your best bet to do something with this effect is if you were doing like a, a newscaster scene. Or if you had to do something that happened, like a newsreel that you need a picture-in-picture.